I do take a cynical, even suspicious view of VO coaches and mentors. And you, if you look back at a couple of three um, of, of these Todd's tips, do's and don'ts, you'll find that I talked about the fact that I trust my clients paying me. Mm -hmm. Remember that episode? Yeah. Personally, I trust my clients to pay me more than I trust VO coaches and mentors who are out there in the internet trying to be heard and followed. That might, be, I'm not trying to be shocking. It's just, when I sit down to write these, I just write what I think. I just write what I believe. I just write what I've found out to be true. Well, and, and that's something that's true. And you've been in the business for 13 plus years. So Correct. you've got a fairly good handle on what's going on in the industry. Yeah, I so think so. Just, a, just to let you know. It's my little corner of my little mind. Oh, no. But nevertheless, it, it is 13 years in the making. So that's just what I think and believe. I trust my clients to pay me more than I trust a lot of the coaches out on the internet, VO coaches. That might seem strange, but it's true. I've never asked my potential clients to sign a contract or put money up front. Never done that. But I have very rarely paid for any coaching. I learn from coaches, but I rarely pay because my default attitude toward VO coaches is that I don't trust them. Sorry. That's just the truth. Disagree if you want. You might have great coaches. You might have just, you might have a slew of coaches that you work with that you are just enamored with. Or maybe you're a VO coach and you say, hey, wait. I'm a trustworthy person. Well, I just simply don't, out of hand, trust voiceover coaches. There are so many voiceover coaches out there hawking their products and academies, 10 simple steps, et cetera. It's mind boggling. Some start coaching their, their coaching career, you know, right out of the gate, maybe a year six, or two in, yeah, six, six months, months in. And they couch their coaching in, oh, shucks, I'm just a newbie struggling like you are. I'm just chronic chronicling my journey, but I'll take your money. <laughs> Others have been coaching so long and so much you wonder, do you have any time for voiceover? How? How do you have time to do voiceover now? So if I pay uh, for coaching, these are the questions that I ask. I would demand this first. You've heard these before, but I'm going to repeat them. First question, how much money do you make in voiceover this year or last year? How much money do you make? Not in demo producing, not in your products, your services, not in your coaching. What do you make in voiceover right now? Can you provide a few cur uh, current contacts, students' contacts, info, so I can find out how many of them would support that idea and how much money they make. I want to find out how much money, how successful are they? Lastly, have you or your students been in voiceover as long as I have? And have you made as much money as I have? It doesn't mean I can't learn from you. It doesn't mean that I'm doing everything right. It just means that I want to know, are you as successful as I am? Or are you at least on the upward swing? Can mm -hmm. I see that proven to me? I want to know those things. I assume that there are good, sincere, honest, student-centered VO coaches out there. I'm only assuming because with the exception of one coach, I've never hired a coach. With the exception of one coach, I've never hired a coach in my career. Again, I learn from lots of coaches, lots of people, lots of business people in general, lots of VO people. I can learn tons from people, but I just don't pay for it. So, just to that point, and I'll give you one more point and then I'll be done. If you want to find out who that coach is that I would pay money to coach with and have paid some money to coach with him, after we sign off, we're going to wait just a few seconds and then I'm going to come back and I'm going to tell you who that coach is. Mm -hmm. Again, you don't have to feel the same way about the coach that I have. You might feel the same way about your coach that I feel about my <clears throat> coach. But after we all get, we get all done here, I'll tell you who that is. I do listen to and watch VO coaches who may be all of the above things, you know, honest, student-centered uh, people that are sincere, 
all of the above things, but almost all of them disparage other people in the industry for being selfish or misguided or hurting the industry. And of course, then they sell their selfless, mm -hmm. student-centered, industry caretaking products and services. So it makes me kind of glad right now that I haven't joined their ranks, <laughs> at least for now. I haven't joined the ranks of coaching, and um, I'm going to just not hang out my shingle too quickly. I know I've been doing it for 13 years, and I think I have something to offer, but I'm just going to be patient because I just don't want to join too early to the coaching ranks just because there are so many voices out there. 